Hi everyone, back here again for another video. Did you just get a new Logitech K380 keyboard? Watch this for some tips, how to connect it to the iPad, how to use it, and how it can help you be productive. As my main computing device is my iPad, this video will be focused on using the K380 with the iPad. I'm using the iPad Pro 11 inch 2020 version, but all of this will also work with my old iPad Air 3. First, how to connect the keyboard. Obviously, we need to turn on the keyboard first, and here it's on the side. And if you don't know yet, this comes with free batteries and it's here under the keyboard. You don't really have to worry much about the battery as Logitech claims it will last for two years. And from experience, it can last more than that. In fact, I used the original batteries of this Blue K380 for almost four years. And for those asking, I always turn off the keyboard when I don't use it. Because, well, why would I leave it on anyway? Moving on, next step is to obviously turn on the Bluetooth on the iPad, this, then press and hold on one of the switch buttons here. If you will use this with another device, as you can see, you can connect to up to three devices, whether it's Android, Apple, or Windows, you go through the same steps. And you will know it's connected because yes, it says connected on the device. And also the indicator light will stop blinking. Now let's see how to use the keyboard with the iPad. We have the function keys on the top. F1 to F3 are the keys to switch devices. F4, press once, is to go back to the home screen. Press twice and it will take you to the app switcher. F5 does not really do anything, but what I noticed is if I'm typing a URL, for example, in Safari, when I press F5, it will bring the cursor in the beginning. It can also scroll up very slowly though, so I don't use F5 to scroll. The F6 key does not do anything on the iPad. The F7 works like F4, which is to go back to the home screen or go to the app switcher. Next are the media controls, where F8 and F10 keys are to skip to the previous track or go to the next track, or it can also be used to fast forward by holding on F10 or rewind by holding on F8. This works in some apps like Spotify, but not in the YouTube app. And obviously, F9 is for pause and play. Spacebar also works to pause and play. Next, F11 is to turn on or turn off mute, while F12 is to decrease the volume and the insert key is to increase the volume. One more thing about the insert key. You see the globe icon here? This means you can use this to switch to different languages. This will pick up the languages that you have set in the iPad. In the general settings, go to keyboard and here is where you can add the languages you want to use. This is also what you can use in the virtual keyboard. So when using the K380, you can use these languages too. Press on the function key and the insert key at the same time to switch languages. Next, let's see what settings you can check if the keyboard is not typing the characters you want. First, it's typing the wrong characters. This could be because you are on a non-English language or any other language. Example for the colon or the quotation marks, this would type a different character. This is because the keyboard is, let's say, in Spanish, and so it's typing something else. So press function and insert to change back to English, and all these characters should be typing correctly then. On the other hand, if you want to type other characters that are not 
English letters, it's the same as I've just explained. The K380 only has the English characters physically on the keyboard, but if you add other languages in your device, like here in the iPad, then you can switch it and type on that language. Of course, you need to know which key is, is for which character, and unfortunately, I don't know where to buy stickers. Here in Thailand, Logitech gives free stickers that you can put Thai characters on the keyboard. Next, if you're having this issue where it doesn't type the letters but moves the cursor instead, this is because the mouse keys are turned on in the assistive touch settings. Here, if you type on M, J, K, L, I, O, for example, it moves the cursor and it doesn't type the letter. So to fix this, go to assistive touch settings, then go down to pointer devices and choose mouse keys. And you see here, it explains what it does when it's on. So turn the mouse keys off and it should be working okay again. Now let me show you my favorite keyboard shortcuts that help me type faster and somehow my productivity improves. When typing, command shift and arrows left and right are my favorite. It saves time that I don't need to tap and drag the cursor to highlight a line. Another one is command and backspace, which easily deletes a whole line. Command and spacebar is another one of my favorites and I use this a lot. It saves me time to search for apps and I don't need to scroll around my iPad. I can easily open apps by pressing just two keys. I can also do quick web searches or calculations and I don't necessarily need to open Google or the calculator. Command tab is something available in almost every operating system, so use it and it will save you time to switch around previously opened apps. When browsing the web, here's how I quickly move around using the keyboard. Open a new tab by Command T or Command N. If I want to close the tab, I do Command W. To move between tabs, I can do Control Tab to go to the next tab, or Control Shift and Tab to move back to the previous tab. The shortcut Command 1 or Command 2 or Command 3 also works to go direct to specific tabs. In an open tab, if I want to change the URL, I do Command and L. And inside a web page, I can scroll down and up without touching the screen. Spacebar is to scroll down, while Shift and Spacebar is to scroll up. And if I want to go into a website's search bar, for example, here in Instagram, I press Tab until the search box is highlighted. Then I type what I want to search and use arrow down key to choose and then enter to select. And I can use command and the left bracket to go back to the previous web page. And command and the right bracket is to go forward to the previous web page. If you want to know more about shortcuts when typing documents, check out my other videos. I've linked it in the description box below. These are very useful tips and I'm sure you'll like it. You may be curious how I keep this clean. Well, first I just try to keep my hands clean and not eat while typing. Or usually I just wipe it with damp microfiber cloth and, uh, or use this screen spray. If there are dirt stuck inside the keys, unfortunately I don't have an elegant way to do it. 
usually I shake off the keyboard to make the dirt fall off or I use sticky notes to get inside the keys and take out those nasty dirt. Last few tips. To lock the iPad, use function and L. And I highly suggest to turn off the keyboard. There's no point to keep it on if you're not using it. It's not at all hard anyway to turn it off as the power button is easily accessible. It will also help extend the battery life. So finally, as the battery will last a long time, just check the battery every now and then to make sure that it's not leaking. So that's it. Thanks for watching.